hello 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 welcome back welcome back to divine destiny guide i pray you're doing well wherever you are just reminding you that you are blessed and you are highly favored for those of you who have had birthdays you know i'm wishing you i hope you had a happy and blessed peaceful and restful day again just be prepared for greater things to come into your life as you're making room and for those of you you have birthdays coming up you know i am just so happy happy i'm so glad that we're we're on this path we're doing this life together we're walking this journey together and i only pray nothing but the best for you you deserve the best and nothing less don't let anyone anything tell you anything differently you have been through enough and now you're at a point in your life where you know that you are more than enough and so you are not looking for anything less and i am so happy for you the growth the transformation that is taking place in your lives all because you're willing to do the work see some people want to get there overnight the race is not for the swift the battle is not for the strong but it's for those who endure to the end you know people may try to copy copy you people may try to do all kind of tricks to come against you but just know that what God has for you, it is for you. And you're in this place in your life where you want nothing less but what God has for you. If it is not from God, you don't want it. You're not envious or jealous after anybody's success or their blessings. Because you know, for those of you who are, who are not in that season yet, you know that your time is coming soon. And so you have come too far. You will just finish. It's only a few ahead of you. I'll just wait. And you're realizing that, that by you stepping back and allowing God to move for you, not only is he moving for you, but he's moving stumbling blocks out of your way and creating new new everything new he's making all things new for you so i am so happy for you so proud of you soul tribers so if this is your first time welcome and come into the room i hope this message will resonate with you and as a result you will like share subscribe uh to this channel it'll be great to have you here and if you're a returning soul triber, new soul triber, hello, hi, I'm so happy that you're here and for your support always. I couldn't do it without you. And so I am truly always grateful. So we are in the last week of the giveaway for the card, um, celebrating the one year anniversary for this channel. And so I'm so happy to see how we are growing and again because i only want what god has for me you know even though yes we're growing slowly but i believe that it's the right people the vibe match the tribe and this channel is for people who are evolving who are sick and tired and sick and tired you have been through some things you have been through a lot and so this is the time for you to step into your calling your purpose that transformation you're going higher heights and deeper depths now you can stand and see how god is working even though the enemy or enemies are working in the back you can see right through people man look at the outward part but you look at the heart you look behind the smile and the grin because I'm telling you, you are an expert. You're an expert when dealing with mankind. You cannot be fooled, cannot be tricked. Why? Because you have 
been fooled and tricked for a long time and now you are experienced you've learned to master the you know master that craft and so i'm happy that we are only attracting those people who are suitable for our soul suitable for this journey that we're going on so with that i will wait until we wake up one at a time it's okay i know it's a faith walk it's a brave and a bold move this channel is not for the faint of heart this is truth and so as i was pre-shuffling card with envy came out also god is fighting for you came out you know for a lot of you you know these are things that unfortunately we have no control over but we can control ourselves because like i've said over and over in, in a lot of these videos people sign up volunteer to work for the devil and I mean, that is so sad, so sad that people are lost and they don't even know that they're working. They cannot even catch themselves. That is how when you're so blind and yes, maybe for a lot of us, if not all of us, there were points and time in our life when we were blind to the nonsense, blind to the foolishness. Nobody could tell us that that person was not right for us. That job was not good for us no we were determined until thank god by the grace of god the scales fell from our eyes and so i just really hope that a lot of these people who are so mischievous on behalf of the enemy will come to this awareness as well that what they're doing it's not productive it's counteractive they are stifling themselves they're stunting their own growth because when we have God on our side, there is absolutely nothing that they can do. Yes, it may seem for a little while as if they have the upper hand, but like that card that I saw, it says God is fighting for you. And that is what you need to know. That's the confirmation that you need to know. And also I saw the seven of swords. So again, a lot of this is a season, this is a time as well, because a lot of you, you have done the work, you are doing the work, you're gonna have those people from your past or even new people who are very trickery, manipulators, people who will come in just to tell you anything, just to be in your company. Because a lot of them, they think you're still dumb, they think you're still naive. I mean, they look at you and they, they think that, oh, that one look easy. We can just pull the wool over their eyes, not realizing that you have been played that game for so long that now you're just playing it cool, you know, but it's like, don't take this love and light for granted. Because when it's time for you to stand up for yourself, you will. And this is what I was saying before, a lot of you, you now learn, you have learned so much that it will take a lot for people to come up against you, for people to fool you. And these people are so silly. They think that the same tricks that they use on you in the past, they can come back with the same energy. You may be meeting new people again because you are quiet, you keep a low profile. They think that you're a doormat. They think they can walk all over you. And a lot of you, you are in a time as well where you have to stand up for yourself, speak up for yourself. Because for a long time, you didn't do that. You weren't doing that. And I'm saying not disrespectfully, but you're gonna have to check some people. You're gonna have to let some people look, you know what? blood run through my vein as well yes you may be a god-fearing person but don't forget god is a lion and he's a lamb you know it's like which side which one do you want today don't try it you know so for a lot of you people are gonna come to try to see how they can manipulate you bamboozle you 
They want to live off of your energy, live off of your abundance by wearing false masks. And it's like you don't have time for that anymore. For a lot of you, you are, you are impatient to the nonsense. You know, all those sweet words, swords are communications as well, speech. They come with this big speech and have nothing to back it up. You're not falling for that anymore. You have heard it all. You're not, you're not falling for those. You've mastered the art of that. And then we have the Ten of Swords. So again, a lot of these people, they're coming back to get you in the shackles again, to get you in bondage. All they want to do is to come into your life to defeat you. A lot of people, whether old or new, some of these people, and this is why the Bible said to try the spirit. You know, are they coming with love, kindness, peace? And look at these people, their action over time before we trust as well. The Bible says above all else to guard your heart. And a lot of you, <laughs> maybe for some of us, you know, some of you, you have like a whole, you know, it's like, electric fence around your heart right so people will be shocked you know but it's because of all the dramas and the traumas that you have gone through and now you have a lot of people who will want to come back into your life to do this and this is the reason why too you went through things in the past so that as you move through different seasons of your life you know, it's just like we're in fall now. Soon it's be another season, another one, and another one. New levels, new devils. And those experiences are from the past. They are supposed to be your guide. Those are the things that you've gone through so you don't put your hand on that hot stove anymore. You learn the lessons. So you're not going to make the same mistakes again. So yes, when you meet upon new people who are trying to manipulate you, steal your joy, steal your creativity, you're working on things. People don't know all the defeat, the backstabbing, the hurt you have been through physically, emotionally, psychologically, all the dramas and the traumas. They don't know it. They only see you glowing and radiating your transform and they think you don't deserve it. They want to hop on to your life to be you, to copy you, as if you owe these people anything. This is, this is the audacity for me. That's the audacity. And this is why I've said it before in other videos that anybody who wants to copy my life, God, I pray that you will attach all the pain, the conflict, and the dramas that I have gone through to their desire. To let them know I didn't wake up like this. I didn't just show up like this. Because I've done the work, I deserve a seat at the table. And a lot of people, they want to get at things that they don't work for. And the divine is saying, you will need to, some of you, you have already done that. This is us, put an end, put death to what no longer serve you. Anything, anybody coming into your life in this new season who are not pouring into you, adding to you, you need to walk away from that. That is not of God. That is not what your soul desire and deserve. Anybody who is going to pull you out of character, cause conflict or drama into your life, trust me, you don't need that. For the person or people that this message resonates with, you don't need that. You don't do schoolyard foolishness. You're way past that. You've outgrown that. And you realize that there are people who are still stuck on the playground filled with toxicity, jealousy, envy, hatred, the pettiness, 
the mean girls, the mean boys, and you're not for it. Age is nothing but a number. And so it doesn't, again, you're looking to the core of people. You're not going to say, oh, this person is 70, so they must know better. No, not true. You have some seven-year-olds who will give you better advice. Who knows better than a 70-year-old? So therefore, you are checking people and you're putting an end to what no longer serve you. Because for a lot of these people who played mind games, who deceived you, they left you for dead. That's what the Ten of Swords is. They left you for dead. But it's like with this death that they wanted for you, you use that to transform yourself, to glow up, to grow up, to evolve, to check yourself because you realize you are wrecking yourself. Yes. And so a lot of you, you're done with that. You're done with that confirmation. You're done with that. No more. You have been through enough to know that you are enough, my friends. So yeah, a lot of you temperance, you are earth angels. You showed up in these people's life as a miracle, as a blessing. Again, temperance, God is causing all of these things to work together for your good. Balancing out the hot and the cold. You know, a lot of some people were hot for you, on fire, passionate for you, while some people were cold, giving you the cold shoulder. Well, God is alchemizing that. He's mixing the both to make it the right temperature for you, for you to meet the right people, the perfect people who are perfect for you, for your life, suitable for your soul, people who will get you, not traumatize you, not hurt you, not bring you back into conflict anymore. No more animosity. It's like, yes, you're moving forward from a lot of these manipulative, mischievous people. It's like anybody who does or do anything to trigger you, to pull you out of character. People who want you to compete for their time, their energy. It's like you are not going back there. No, no more. You have gone through those where you have dealt with toxic people, toxic partners who wanted you to chase them. Well, now you are the one that people are chasing. You're done with that life. That life is no more for you. It does not resonate with you anymore. And you don't have time for that. You don't have the patience for that. Yeah, you don't have time for any night of ones. No player energies. Nobody who is going to come into your life for only for, you know, a good time. To fill up their ego. To boost their self-confidence. You don't have time for people who want to hang around you for clout. Just to name drop you to say, I know that person. I have their number in my phone. You know, it's like come correct or don't come at all because I'm getting that king or queen of swords energy. It's like I've been through it all. I've seen it all. I may not look like it, but don't try it. Don't try it. Don't try it. Like I said, a lot of you from this death, the queen of wands, you're coming back passionate. Doesn't this look like Halloween? Yeah. You see that? I'm telling you, this is our time. This is our season. A lot of you, you're coming back passionate, driven. You've had to use that big stick to beat off a lot of toxic, negative energies off of you. And I'm telling you, you don't look like what you've been through. You are glowing. You're radiating. They can't stop you from shining. Do you see all these... I'm hearing Katy Perry, you know, baby, you're a firework. You are unstoppable. You come back bigger, better, stronger, wiser. Yeah. After you've done the work, gone inside as the hermit to introspect, 
So a lot of people may be looking at you as somebody who is reserved. Yes, you're not giving anybody your energy who is not deserving of it. And again, because a lot of people, you're, you're more tempered now. People can't trigger you the way they used to. And, and the enemy may be even using people to trigger you, to see if there is any jealousy, any envy in you, again, to pull you out of your character. But no, like I said, God is fighting for you. You don't need to do that. You have been through that. You're not going back. It says never a crowd on the leading edge. Never a crowd on the leading edge. Honor those who honor you. Absolutely. You're not pouring into people who are not pouring into you. You're, again, you're saving your energy for the people, the place, the things that are truly deserving of you. I'm telling you, your afterglow land gracefully. Yes, I'm telling you, they wanted you to be dead. All these mind games they played on you, love bomb you, told you I'm going to marry you, then they fall through on it, till death do we part, and they played with it. You land gracefully. You're, you're like the cat. It doesn't matter how they wheel you around and throw you up in the air. You're going to land right on your feet. That's what you did. This is what is blowing away these people. It's like, how did you do that? How did you do that? How could you do that? You did that because God is on your side. It's not finished. It's not over. That's not how your story was meant to end. They thought that they were the giver of your life to leave you or left you. They left you in defeat. But God said, no, this is only your beginning. They're going to see you land gracefully. You're not going to land with your shirt. Tear off, guys. Ladies, you're not going to land with your, your, your pants or your skirt over your head. No. It's like you show up again, the queen of wands. Just beautiful, I mean, just handsome, glowing, radiating. I mean, this is like you opening the door when they thought, okay, we're closed, nobody else is showing up. And you come in like Cinderella. And everybody, their jaw is on the floor. I'm telling you, you're causing a lot of people, you're giving a lot of people whiplash in this time, this season of your life, because I'm telling you, and I'm telling them for those who are listening, who are oppositions, you cannot fight God. You cannot fight God. Drop that little thing you have in your hand or that little brew you have in your hand because it's not gonna work. It's not gonna work. Time for a quantum leap. Prepare for a makeover. Yeah, with this death and you coming back as the queen of wands. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. They buried you not knowing you're a seed. And I'm telling you, your pop out is going to be a pop off. Your rise is going to be their demise. Their, their frown, you know, it's like they wanted you to be frowning. Your frown is only for a season. It's only for a time that until God turned that around, God is going to turn around so many things. A lot of things it's already turned around in your favor that I'm telling you, it's like, you know how they say it's a thin line between love and hate. In my career, I've experienced, I've seen a lot of deaths happen. And it is so amazing how you can stand in front of somebody and see them breathing. And then they're done. I'm always mesmerized and captivated by that. The thin line. And so this is what this quantum leap is. It's like it's only another breath away. You know, it's like light to dark you walk to a room and you flick it was dark then you flick that switch and the light that's the quantum leap 
It's like you overcame 10, 15 years in the blink of an eye. And this is why you're going to shock a lot of people. Because they didn't expect this. Stand up and be recognized. Behold, you are the inspiration you have been looking for. Oh my goodness. You have been looking for love in all the wrong places, my friends. Not realizing you are it. The buck stops with you. Stand up and be recognized. See, the enemy wants you to be afraid. No, it's them who needs to be afraid. They try to come against you, to bully you, to gang stalk you. This is like one man against the world. Behold. In the Bible, when it says, behold the lamb, it's like, turn around. It's like, look. I'm telling you, this is how you're going to show up shocking people. Like I said, you come in right in the nick of time where the jaws are on the floor, the eyes are popping. Who is that? We thought we finished him off. We thought we finished her off. How did they have the strength to come back? How did they have the strength to pull all those swords, all the traps we set for them? How did they maneuver that? How did they free themselves? It's you and God, my friend. This is a card of number 40. Maybe it resonates or it could be four. Your stability, your joy, your happiness. It's coming back. I mean, look, you are meant to be seen. You are the inspiration you have been looking for. All the answer is inside of you. You thought that you needed those people, that person in your life not realizing you were the one who were sustaining these people yeah you are the miracle now you are realizing that that person those people they weren't pouring into me i was the one giving them advice they were learning from me and but they wanted me to feel as if i am inferior to them i needed them but in fact, you needed no one. You needed nothing. You only need Christ on your side. And this is what a lot of you, yeah, you were the philanthropist. You were the one giving to these people. They weren't giving anything to you. Yes, enemies are defeated. Absolutely. For some of you, you could have been dealing with a karmic female. You know, these people, they want to take from you. Because as a philanthropist, you give. You give, you serve. And these people, because they see you're kind hearted, you know, they wanted to use you, to manipulate you, to bamboozle you. But no more. Wow, I love this. I'm telling you, you're coming back bigger, better, stronger. For a lot of you, you know, you are the ones. Wow. Yeah, karmic family members as well. They are all defeated. They are under your feet. See, a lot of these people, they send entities your way as well. Not realizing that you tame the devil. The devil is under your feet. A lot of these negative energies that they send to you, they end up liking you. You know, it's like you eating meat and you drop the bones and the enemy is right there at your feet eating on your bones. The same entity they send to you can't even hurt you. They're afraid of you. Or they fall in love with your energy, your pureness. They fall in love with your light. These people are defeated. Nothing is happening for these people. Yeah, all because you change course. You change course. You realize, no, these people are not good for me. See, you may not... You are not responsible for the people you are tracking to your life. But it's your responsibility who you let into your life. Amen. You are not responsible for the people you attract into your life. Because your light is going to pull light and dark. But you are responsible for how you allow these people into your life. Not everybody who comes to your gate, you have to open the door. And for a lot of these people, it's like you're just going to look at your camera, they ring your bell. You're not even going to give them the time of day. 
Because you're done with that. Yeah, they can't break your soul. That's what they tried to do. They wanted to break your soul. They want to break your spirit. They want to leave you defeated. Yeah, but I'm telling you with all this quantum leap and now you're not giving to people who are not giving to you. You're not wasting your time. You land gracefully after they tried to take you out, you know, and you were prepared for this transformation because you're a great manifester. You co-create with the divine. Oh my goodness, you are magic. You are magic. You are magic. And in order to manifest, you had to do the work. You, you knew it was time to forgive. You had to heal in order for you to have the miracle in your life. I told you earlier, you are blessed. You are blessed. And I just love how this is coming up. It's the God in me, Mary, Mary. You know, they think, they think you're so cute. You know, like I was saying before, they don't know that when you get home and get behind closed door, how you hit the floor, you know, how you had to work on yourself, pray, you cried and you work through it. You had to pull yourself up by the bootstrap, wipe those tears and keep it pushing, keep it moving. They don't know it's the God in you. But now that they're looking at your life, they're seeing favor is not fair because you are blessed and highly favored. This is how you bounce back so well. Because God, there is favor. Isn't it something? You are blessed and highly favored. And they are realizing, amen, that favor is not fear. This is why they couldn't take you out. Because God favored you. And now I'm telling you, your enemies are your footstool. They are defeated. <laughs>